the misunderstanding of women and women in their 50s and mm -hmm. what we go through. It's a lot and it's, I don't know, it's like we're not expected to age. Hi friends, you are about to get a brutally honest, totally candid conversation with me and my friend Daisy Fuentes about aging, facelifts, men, women, social media, you name it. We say it all. Hope you enjoy it. This is the beauty of aging. Yeah. Really? Well, I is don't that know you that get... there is a beauty of aging. Really? Yes, I guess that must be it. Okay, so, so let's talk about that while we're at it. No beauty of aging? You don't see it? I don't see it. Mm. No, no, no. So explain. It, we live in a youth-obsessed world, uh -huh. and it makes it really difficult mm -hmm. for women specifically. I mean, yes, I see it in men too, but women specifically, um, there's this um, pressure to just stay young, and it's impossible. Everything is anti-aging. Everything is stay younger. Everything is like, well, what about just like, you know, looking good and staying healthy and, and just looking your age? Yeah. What is wrong with that? What is wrong with looking really good at your age? Not looking younger. You know, this whole like, oh, 50 is the new that. No, it's not. No, 50 is 50. Yes, we're looking better than we ever did at 50. Um, but the pressure and the... The misunderstanding of women and women in their 50s and mm -hmm. what we go through, it's a lot. And it's, I don't know, it's like we're not expected to age. And I think it's getting worse and worse because people are successfully looking younger and younger mm -hmm. as they get older and older. Mm -hmm. So it's becoming a more, impo it's almost worse. Mm -hmm because it's becoming an impossible target. And, and you know, looking better and better at your age is fine. Uh -huh. I'm all for that. I am all for anyone who wants to do whatever it is that they want to do to look better, whether that involves, you know, getting a little Botox mm -hmm. or whether that involves getting a facelift. Uh -huh. There's nothing wrong with wanting to look good. But let's all understand that it's not gonna make us look 20 years younger. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna look good, and if that makes you feel better, that's great, but there's still nothing wrong with being your age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, and, and I feel like society is making everyone feel like that there's something wrong with aging, mm -hmm. like you're not supposed to do it. <laughs> but it's bizarre because it's nature that you're going to age. And like look, you're not supposed I, to, like there's something wrong with you for aging, yeah. and yet that is the most natural thing that there is. Right, it if is. you're lucky, that's what will happen. Right. Uh, otherwise, you're dead, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> you know? But I, uh, I, look, I don't like that I don't look like myself. Uh -huh. I don't like that I, can, that I now look older I am as vain as they come uh -huh. and I still want to look good I want to do whatever I can to look good to myself but I know that I'm not gonna look like I'm 30 right and there's there's nothing wrong with wanting to d look good look if you can afford to do whatever it is that you want to do and you're not going overboard and looking like a crazy person there's nothing wrong with any of that but I, I I, I feel like a different person. I am a different person. I'm not trying to act like a 30-year-old. Uh -huh. I couldn't even if I tried because I know too much. Um, and I think that that's what a lot of times um, it, it's looked at negatively in society, mm -hmm. especially in this country. I think that maybe other cultures are more embracing. Of, I, I think that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. I mean, you could even see it reflected in like films and whatnot and television mm -hmm. is that you always you've seen in other um, from other countries you've seen in other projects that like, yeah, these are real women at different ages. Mm -hmm. And it's not only somebody, a leading woman, let's say, or lead, whatever the role, right. losing the term, but it's not just somebody who is either under 30 or looks 30. Yeah. You know, like you see the full spectrum and it's good. Yeah. But I, I'm with you though too, though. I have to say back, backing, to, backing up to what you said before, which is like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with wanting to look good. Right. So 
you want to have agency over that as yeah. well. So I understand too, like I don't like watching myself aging and I think it's because I don't like the look of it, but it's not because I feel like I shouldn't yeah. be the age that I am. Exactly. You know what I mean? So exactly. it is a very weird dynamic. It's like, yeah. oh, I really am not into this or that and it is a result of aging. Mm -hmm. But I have no problem with my age. Like I'm happy to be like I, again. This yeah. is life is just kind of in many ways getting better and better because you release all these things that we were talking about that you yes. don't realize you don't need anymore or want, and right. you don't have to put up with them. Exactly, exactly. Which is so that is a beautiful thing. We're talking about beauty of a different, you know, yeah. in a different way. You know, and then this whole this whole thing of like, oh, you're aging gracefully. What the hell is no, that? No, that's even? just what is, what is no. that? That's such bullshit. I agree. That is not a thing. You, you have no age. control over that. So some people might age more gracefully by yeah. accident. I feel like I, I I don't know. And you know, is that what letting your hair grow gray? Is that because you don't get Botox? You're considered oh, you're aging gracefully. But also, what? Why do you have to age gracefully? I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means. Yes, gray hair like these women who have let their hair go gray and uh -huh. they look wonderful. Uh -huh. That's great. I am not going to do that. Uh -huh. I am not ready to go gray. Why? Why would I? You know, or or you know, if a little Botox is going to loosen up these few wrinkles, why uh -huh. wouldn't I do that? Uh -huh. There's nothing wrong with that. So, and then there's the other thing, if I were to completely go gray and let every single wrinkle show, then I would just, people would be like, oh my gosh, she's really let herself go. <laughs> So you have to forget about all that and kind of do what makes you feel good, yeah. you know? But there's much more pressure on you, I would say. Uh, there is, but like, there is yeah. pressure on all women. There is, but, but especially, wait, so yeah. So is it different in Jersey? It is. What? People are different in Jersey than they are in California. Well, in, in many ways, but like, what are you saying specifically? In looks-wise, like, I feel like it's more acceptable in certain places that are not so youth-obsessed. I would say I want to tie it to entertainment yes. rather than California. Yes. That's but my. That's where entertainment is. I know. <laughs> so what? Right. What is? What? Which one is it? Yeah. But yeah, I would say so because in normal circles. But at the same time, like almost nobody, everybody you know has gotten Botox. It's yeah. Like, that's what I. That's what yeah. I realized now. Yeah. Is like you don't necessarily know that. So yeah. even even people in New Jersey who are not in entertainment, right. they're getting Botox now. Yeah. So it's like everybody's doing it all. It's sure. almost like yeah, everybody used to dye their hair. Yeah. And then it's like the same thing, really. But why? Why do people want to make people feel bad for doing something like right. that? Right. That, I. That's what I equate it to. Yeah. I'm like, well, Botox and coloring your hair. It's like, well, it's the same thing. You just yeah. want to have agency over how you look in a certain way. So like, what's the big deal? Yeah. But at the same time, I get the other thing is like, oh, we shouldn't encourage everybody because you, how are we going to learn to appreciate aging as it is if everyone's changing their faces? But at the same time, like in the history of everything, a lot of people are exercising, eating well, all the things to mm -hmm. look better right. because they feel better. So like, what, where do, why do we have to draw a line at like, okay, well, it's only if you want to yeah. work out you know, and eat well, that's okay to make yourself look better, right. but how dare you do something? So like, it's really yeah. not, it's a, it's a lose-lose situation. I think, I, I think it's crazy. I think there's nothing wrong with doing what, you know, and I think it's funny because, you know, we take such good care of ourselves and we're all like, no, it has to be organic and we want to cook this and we don't want to eat the, you know, the, the processed food, but yeah, pump a little more Botox in here. That's okay. <laughs> right, right. I'm going to pick and choose my poisons uh-huh you uh -huh. know and for me a martini and a little botox is my poison by the way i love a good martini i yes. really come to appreciate a martini <laughs> for a while i went around looking for my signature drink i'm like uh -huh. what is my signature drink yeah. i was like in my mid-40s i'm like i need to have a drink i yes. don't know what i just like i don't really like wine very much so i need to find myself a drink so i started sampling all the different drinks and i was trying to go to the classics and it was the martini that was like, well, of course. And so I'm with you on the martini. Another thing we have in common yep. now. But I'm now doing a gin martini. Ooh. So is that is that a thumbs down for you? No, that's admirable. I'd to like me it's to better. like gin. So to me, it's better. I, I just haven't, I haven't you don't quite like it? Um, acquired a taste for gin yet. No. Okay, I'm so a vodka I, martini girl. And that's what I was doing for a yeah. while. And I kind of like one day I was like, why am I not trying a gin martini? Yeah. And I did. And I was like, 
Huh. Another okay, level so what of do you good. like about it more than a vodka martini? It just tastes better. It, ta- it has a nice, it tastes better. Okay. I, I might have to do a gin martini tonight. I would definitely try a gin martini, and I usually have a, a plug, Tanqueray martini. Oh, okay. That's the brand. Classic. Classic. It yeah. is a classic, and I have tried a few different ones that I don't like as much, mm-hmm. but to me, and then I did a little research, mm-hmm. and like that is a classic martini, and it's they recommended, so try that maybe ah, tonight. Okay, I will. And um, with olives, and I used to get a dirty martini with extra olives, and then I started yeah. to realize that I got so thirsty after. Yeah, <laughs> like I have salty, to reduce, right? I have yeah, to reduce I'm like, that. no, I like my martini like I like my men, clean and strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I think now clean and strong with a flavor, with a style, a flavor. Yeah, I like that. All right. So, so try it. yeah, so that is my, why did we bring up martinis anyway? I forget why. <laughs> we're all over the place. What were we talking about? It was something about, well, that's, that's how Martinis and Botox, that's my poison. Oh, right, that's okay. That's how we got to it. Right, so again, <laughs> but that's like, okay, you're choosing your things that you like in life, and that's, I celebrate that. Although I have to tell you, I am, I'm Botox free, as you can see right now. Because well, there's would, a lot of movement everywhere, but it's because, here's the other thing. Okay. Botox works great during a certain time. After a while, there's not enough Botox, and it gets weird, and that's where I'm at right now. Okay, but I thought, really? This is the yeah. first I'm hearing that. Yeah, because... at least that's my experience. I'm finding that before, a little Botox worked great to soften the lines here and there, mm-hmm. but now the lines have gotten deeper, and I have more lines, so it takes more Botox, and it creates a little bit of a weird look. So I've cut out the Oh, Botox. like a frozen look? Is that what you mean? No, no, where it creates wrinkles in other places. Oh. So if you're going to smooth out these few wrinkles here, then it's going to create other wrinkles here, and you're going to smooth these wrinkles, but it's going to get weird here because you're just older and you have more wrinkles, more loose skin. Oh, so the loose skin goes in other places, you're saying, because you're still going to have the same amount of skin. Right. Is that what you mean? Yes. I think that Botox works great, you know, for preventative. So, like, meaning in your 30s, you do it in the right places, it's going to prevent lines. Right, because that's what they say now is you start younger and it's a Start younger because it prevents the lines from really getting deep. And then into your 40s, it's great Mm -hmm. because it, it really smooths out some of the lines that are already there, even in your early 50s. It's still working. You Mm -hmm. kick it up a notch a little bit, and it's still working. Once you get into your mid and late 50s, it's a different story. I pulled back on all of that because I didn't like the way it was looking. It wasn't doing the same thing that it was doing before. It just wasn't working well. Okay, but you look so good. Maybe that was the preventative Botox in my 40s. (laughs) Ah, do you think? (laughs) Maybe, I don't know. Thank you. And I I, I mean, I remember, just being totally honest, I specifically remember when we talked last time, me being like, you are so beautiful. Oh, I have to God, tell you this. Like, you. it's true. And I don't mean to make you feel awkward, but it's true. And I remember thinking to myself, okay, when I'm, ty- when I'm ready to go to a dermatologist and do whatever, yeah. I'm going to ask Daisy, yeah. like, what to do. <laughs> so I switched out the little bit of Botox that I was doing for lasers. For lasers. For you told me about lasers, lasers I remember. Yeah. For me, I feel like that really, that works better. It works a little bit more from the inside out. Mm. Um, so... Yeah, there's not like that instant lift mm. that you would get, you know, much younger with a little bit of Botox, but there is a, a, a little bit of a, a an improvement in collagen where I think in the long term it kind of very subtly helps. Mm. And that's really what it's about. You want to do what you can, you want to preserve what you can. And I, I feel like lasers, there are some good lasers like the Ulthera laser. It's, it's a little painful, but it really, if you see the science behind it, you can see how it works from deep within your skin. So lasers also, it's like one of these things too, like there's a lot of medical technology yeah. that has, so many things have gotten better and better and better, and it's like, well, yeah, it's like we're using it for yeah. this or for that or for the other thing, sure. like, yeah, why not lasers? You know, and then they've started combining this Ulthera laser, which I've had a couple of times, with PRP which is the microneedling uh-huh, right. where they kind of spin your, your blood. And, and it, it's very uh, scientific. Right, and pl- very platelet-rich plasma, is yes, that what it stands for? Yes, uh-huh. and it's, it's, but it all works. And these are you know, the, the less invasive things that we can do to kind of 
feel a little bit better when we look at ourselves in the mirror. I know some people don't care. Some of us care. It's all fine. Yeah, yeah. It's all okay. It's all fine. I love that. It's all fine. Whatever you choose yeah. to do, that's what you do. Right. That is like, if there's a message, that's yeah. the message. Yeah. 